and welcome to this Randstad Candidate tutorial on how to use our Timesheet app. When your Randstad consultant sets you up to use the Timesheet app, you'll receive an email that looks like this. You'll note you have access to both the App Store and the Google Play Store through this email. You'll also need to set yourself up to use the Randstad portal first before you use the app. You will need to set up a password to activate your My Randstad account. This password is valid for the portal and for the Timesheet app that you download onto your phone. Click on the blue writing to be taken to the Randstad portal. Here you'll need to re-enter the username and password and click Login. Once you've created your My Randstad login, you'll need to go to the appropriate store for your smartphone device. Search on Randstad Timesheets or use the links provided in the email. This is the app login page. Enter the username and password you just created for the My Randstad portal to enter the Timesheet app. When initially logging in, you're taken to the To Do page, which is showing any timesheets that you're required to complete. If there is no timesheet visible, click on Add in the top right hand corner of the screen. This page also provides you access to view your submitted and approved timesheets. Other navigation appearing on this page is a quick link to your booking section. When you click on bookings, this will show you a listing of your current or past bookings. To access further detail for any booking, pick the booking you wish to submit your timesheet for by clicking it. Once inside the booking, you're able to see the relevant information pertinent to that booking. By scrolling down, you're able to see the shift days you need to complete your hours or days for. Click on Add Hours to enter a shift for this date. Once inside the Shift Edit screen, you can click on Time in either Shift Start or Shift End sections to add your start or finish times. Don't forget to add in any breaks you have, and these are counted in minutes. When you're satisfied with the information that you've entered, click on Save. This will then return you to the booking and you'll now see the shift information displayed to the right of the date. Let's assume you work the same hours each day. You do not need to repeat this action for each day. Simply enter the shift that you've completed and click the copy button. This will display a window that asks you to choose shift days. Click the relevant radio buttons for the days these hours relate to and hit copy at the bottom of the page. You'll be asked to confirm the copy by choosing yes or no. You'll now see the same hours displayed for the chosen dates. If you need to delete a shift, you can click on the relevant date and this will open the shift entry screen. Click on the delete button at the bottom of the screen and you'll be asked to confirm this action. Hit delete to proceed. You'll note that the hours for Thursday have now returned to the add hours option. If you need to add a new shift, hit add new shift. This allows you to add a shift that may not be listed against your booking that you have worked. Simply enter the information as you would for any other shift and hit save. If you scroll down, you'll see that the uh, shift has been added as extra hours. As you scroll down on the booking screen, you'll note other items that you can add to your timesheet, including allowances, expenses, images and employee comments. To add a comment to your timesheet, click below Employee Comments and the keyboard tool will appear. Add your comments and hit Return. Let's assume that this timesheet is ready to be submitted. Scroll up and hit Submit Timesheet. This will then ask you to confirm this action. Click Submit. You'll note this timesheet then moves to the submitted section and is listed as unapproved. If you needed to edit the timesheet before it's approved, you can click on the timesheet and hit Recall Timesheet. Confirm this action by hitting Recall. This will put the timesheet back into your to-do section for you to amend. Under your Approved section are any timesheets that you've previously had approved by the client. You can click on each of these timesheets to see further detail. In terms of other actions you can run on the booking, the remaining items are add a new allowance and add a new expense and add a new attachment. I'll now demonstrate how to use the add a new expense feature. When adding an expense, you need to scroll down on the booking screen and click on the add new expense. This is going to ask you for the type of expense you need to be reimbursed for. You'll need to add in the total amount as well as the GST relating to this expense. Enter the date that your expense is for. You can also add photos to support the expense claim that you are making. You can add notes to this expense if you believe we might need further information about your expense. 
When you've completed the information for the expense, click on Save. Your expense info is now shown on the booking screen under the Expenses section. In the circumstance where your timesheet is rejected by the client, you are able to get back into this timesheet. A rejected timesheet will appear in your to-do list and you would simply click on the rejected listing and edit using Edit Rejected Timesheet. If there was a requirement for you to completely delete a timesheet, you can swipe to the left and hit Delete. By using the app, you're able to reset your own password using the Forgot Password option on the login screen of your app. Simply click on this and it's going to take you out to the My Randstad site and ask you to complete your email address or your username and then enter a code and hit Submit. This will then send through to you an email to reset your password. We hope you enjoyed this training session and thanks for helping us shape the world of work. Should you require further assistance, please contact your Randstad consultant.